Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you glory, I give you honor as I share your word. You use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people. And may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name is Florence Miner, welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy, a program of One Word Digital Media. I'm, broad I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. The title of my message will be Knowing Who you are and that you are chosen i love the man david who he called who god called a man after my own heart uh yesterday last night we were in a praise night of kigosha minnesota and uh, <laughs> i witnessed the first since i'm gonna read here being fulfilled <laughs> I am hoping I can get somebody who captured a picture of one of my friends as we were dancing and then her, some of her stuff fell off and she picked it up with joy. Mm. And this reminded me of the story of David. After the Ark of the Covenant was brought and it was put in the house of Obed Edom and stayed there for three months, David knew that the house, that house was blessed. And when David realized that, he went and got the Act of the Covenant to bring it to the city of David, the house of Israel. Because he knew the Act of the Covenant that present, represented the presence of God makes a huge uh, of, uh, difference. The house of Obed Edom. I always have an issue of pronouncing that name, was blessed because of the Ark of the Covenant. It was before the Lord that we were dancing, and that's why I want to share a little bit, a few verses on 2 Samuel chapter 6. I would encourage you to read the entire story. I will try to summarize it a little bit. I'm going to read first, uh, first 14 to 15. It says, Then David danced before the Lord with all his might, and David was wearing a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the covenant with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. I want to tell you it is good when we shout before the Lord because we know his presence means a lot to us. I'll jump and go to verse 20. Then David returned to breast his household and Mitchell, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today, and covering himself today in the eyes of the maids of his servants, as one of the best, best fellows, shamelessly uncovers himself. Listen to what David answered, verse 21. So David said to Mitchell, It was before the Lord who chose me in this instead of your fathers and all his house, to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord, over Israel. Therefore, I will pray music before the Lord, and I will even be more undignified than this, and will humble in my own sight. But for the maid servants of whom you have spoken, by them I'll be held in honor. Therefore, Mitchell, the daughter of Saul, had no children, to the day of her death when we do some things and we seem like we are not normal because we realize of the presence of the lord in our lives some people may come and despise us and wonder what a thing you are doing even though you are you are running even though you hold a prestigious position remember david was a king he danced before the lord with all his might until his cross fell off that linen of effort fell over and Mitchell, his wife, was was looking through the widow. It is so bad when you look from far and you are not in the field, you are not in the presence where other people are praising the Lord because, oh, you know, you are not in it, you are not experiencing what the Lord is doing. David was in the presence of the Lord. He didn't care that he was a king. or he knew that he, there is a king of kings. He knew he was a king, but there was a king above him. King of kings, our God whom we danced before. You know, when I come to, when it comes to dancing to the Lord, I don't care who is next to me. I will do it because I know who I am. That is what David did. Do you know who you are? So that you can do whatever you are doing with 
without minding what other people will say as long as you are doing it before you are maker. This month, the month of May, means it is symbolizes number five symbolizes the favor of God, the unmerited favor. What you do not deserve, you get it anyway. When you realize that you have been given what you don't deserve, including the blood of life, what you are breathing right now, you can serve the Lord without reservation. You can preach in the media without being ashamed who is watching you, without minding who you are in your place of work, whether you are CEO, whether you are director, who, whoever you could be, whether you are a doctor, wherever you could be. I am so glad we were gathered people of different uh, status. We had pastors, we had doctors, we had, you know, call it, we had engineers. We were dancing before the Lord. I want to give you a warning. Whenever you see me ser serving the Lord or dancing before the Lord, I will not care what you think because I emulate and I like David the way he did it. And God always called him a man after his own heart. He had many failures. He had many shortcomings. It does not mean that we are not weak. We are weak. We fail many times. We sin many times. But I thank God that his word is true. In First John, the Bible tells us that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. You may look at me and say, and she did this, and she is dancing before the Lord. Do not judge me because the masses of the Lord endure it forever. You have no idea. When one dances before the Lord, when one is serving the Lord, and they go before the Lord to kneel, what they tell the Lord. Remember, or I would reference you to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, our Daddy, our Daddy will listen to us. I'm not advocating that you you there sin willingly, but you know, Jesus prayed for his disciples and said, "I am praying that you do not be removed from the world, but you get the power to overcome." There is a lot going on, but you need to hold your position. If you feel compelled to do what God has called you to do. It may be costly to you. It may cost even your job. But do it anyway because the Lord God Almighty deserves all that. Mm. Mitchell despised the servant of God. He asked him, how dare you do that shamelessly before you are made? But because David knew who he was and that he was chosen, he replied with confidence. He did not apologize. I like it. I like the way he said it. He said, It was before the Lord who chose me instead of your father and all his house. He knew. Yes. And he also said, Oh my goodness. And I will even be more undignified than this and will be humble in my own sight. Can you? <laughs> State such a thing, I'll be more undignified. Even to me to be undignified because of the Lord, let it be. And I'm going to say myself too as Florence. I'm speaking personally. I better be undignified because I'm serving the Lord than being lifted for a position that is not eternal. Because after all this is said and done, oh, everything is going to end. But when we go to heaven, we shall be praising 24-7, singing holy, holy is the Lord, 24-7 forever and ever. It is good we start practicing. Sister, I applaud you that you, one of your staff fell and you, kick, you picked it up and we continued. That is them. Th those are the kind of people I like to hang up with who are not just going to, oh, what happened and just get out of it. Continue because it is before the Lord. We may be dignified and dignified before the eyes of men but God receiving praise will make a difference will give us joy by the way if you wanna if you ever want to stay young keep serving the Lord keep dancing for the Lord if you ever want to stay joyous and celebrating with joy every moment even when the storms of life are a lot start continue serving the Lord with gladness, dancing before the Lord, not minding who is there because dancing brings a lot of strength. May the Lord bless you. Know who you are, that you are chosen. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, help each one of us to know that we are chosen. And for that reason, we can serve you without reservation. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are not chosen, if you do not know, you can identify with the Lord, yourself with the Lord in a personal way. Do you want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus? I come before you. 
I know you have chosen me, but I've never identified personally with you. I come before you. Write my name in the book of life. Give me a desire to serve you without reservation. In Jesus' name, amen. There you go. You have become a new creature. Next thing, look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without compromise for your spiritual growth. Plug into a group of believers so you can meet regularly to encourage one another. We need one another, I tell you, in this journey. Amen. Until next time, I'm your presenter, Florence Minor, of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. You can continue listening to these messages and other messages by anointed servants of God by dialing 563-999-3909. Or you can search one word, Miracle Radio, that way. Go to your Play Store using your smartphone. Be smart in the things of God. Download an app free of charge, one word, digital media. And it will be a blessing to you and to others as you share with them. This is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. Last but not least, tomorrow the day is coming. I'm having a sale to be, as I will be ordained as a pastor. I welcome you. I welcome your prayers. And if you're in Minnesota, you are welcome. It is going to be in IOC Bansfield under the leadership of Dr. Charles Karuko.